The categories of beneficiaries of the 100,000 shillings relief money for each household are teachers in private and government schools but not on payroll, barmaids, DJs and bouncers, taxi drivers and conductors, food vendors, border border riders, wheelbarrow pushers, slum dwellers, orphans and vulnerable children. This 42 days vulnerable group is strictly those whom the lockdown measures interrupted their daily work and their daily work is only when they work that they can earn something to eat. The government will use mobile money as the main channel to send the funds to individuals whose registered names correspond with those on the national identity card. Alternatively, the money shall be received through post bank for those who may not have these documents, but this will also require a national identification number. In case you don't have a national identity card to identify who you are, during the data capture, we have worked out with the NERA, and you will be given a temporary NIN number with a slip. Cabinet decided that the one of 100,000 shillings token is purposely for purchase of food. Their breakdown puts a kilogram of beans at 2,500 shillings, a kilogram of maize flour at 2,000, a liter of cooking oil at 4,000 shillings, and a bar of soap at 3,000 shillings. It further breaks it down as 20 kilograms of maize to cost 40,000 shillings, 10 kilos of beans at 25,000 shillings, 12,000 shillings for the cooking oil, and another 3,000 for the bar of soap. If you calculate that, will give you 80,000. Then we decided to add for you 20,000 for any other thing. So that's how we came to 100,000 shillings. So 20 is there for you to do with anything. Amongi says the mechanism of identification for intended beneficiaries is in place and involves compilation and display for verification. The town clerks and Uganda Bureau of Statistics shall be assisted by village health teams, ward administrators, parish chiefs, and Red Cross. So just to let you know that the LC1 chairperson shall not participate in collection of data. The 54 billion shillings for relief aid plan to take care of slightly over 500,000 households of an estimated population of 1 million people is part of a 600 billion shillings fund earmarked for other things like health 200 billion shillings, security 50 billion shillings, local governments 53 billion shillings and ICT 8 billion shillings. The activities will absorb 373 billion shillings, leaving 227 billion shillings aside for eventualities. This time around I'm not borrowing. Have you heard the word called suppression? <laughs> I'm going to suppress items we have agreed yesterday in the cabinet. There are certain activities we are going to suspend. Good enough, COVID also has, one of them is this business of travel abroad, even internally. Parliament will stamp the budget alterations when the motion is presented by the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development. Jackson Onyango, NTV.